I'm actually going to be watching him eat this whole entire lobster roll as I sit here and do my vlog. Hi YouTube, I am here with a basically two in the morning art style vlog. Um, it should be done hit after three now, but today I wanted to just jump on and share a painting video with you it's going to be a painting comparison video and i want to use well these are my praying watercolors but most likely i will use this set of praying um I will be using this set of Arteza and this set of Holbein watercolors. I also have, um, as far as praying goes, I have a lot that I want to share. I may also use my Sennelier, either the Sennelier or the M. Graham. And I'll show you the comparison video that I'll be on what I'll be painting shortly but I also want to share with you some of these I have um these praying pions and it's like a a water soluble style crayon a few of them are broken but um I will do a video eventually on these and I also have some of the praying crayons here and I will eventually do a video on these. And these are some of my praying um, refill pans. And I won't be doing a video on these today, but I think a few of these colors are not in any of these tins. So I will be doing um, a video to just swatch the colors out on these eventually. Okay, so the painting comparison that I want to do today are these cherries. So I'm now going to get the camera set up so I can get on with the painting part of this vlog. Okay, guys, I have completed the setup. I'm trying to make sure everything is in good frame. All right, so I ha I think I have everything here that I need to get started. And you can just 
grab your coffee or tea. This may be a little bit of a lengthy process because I plan to paint each one of these sections with a different watercolor. So just enjoy the process and I'm about to get started. Okay, so the purpose of me doing this video is to see, these are the first three watercolors that I'm using are student grade. These are all student grade watercolors and I just want to see the the um how they compare and perform and if they have any differences once I paint the the pictures each section out. And the last section I will do I don't I haven't decided if I will use my Sennelier watercolors or my M Graham. These are both professional grade watercolors. So I will get started with um, I guess the praying. Now, there is a brush included in here, but I do not like the brush at all. I don't like the way it um, it performs, so I'm going to use my brushes. And I will start with the background. For the background, I guess I will go with uh, hopefully, I can frame with this. Okay, let me look just to make sure I am in good frame. Push it over a little. And this is not the highest quality paper that I'm using, but this is um, paper by, I think that this is, honestly, this is the um, 
Why can't I think of it right now? I'll go get it in a minute. I don't know why I can't think of it. It's one that I use often for practice work. And I can't think of it. I'm going to get it right now. Okay, so as much as I use this paper, I had a total brain fart just now. I could not think of it. Um, it's the Canson XL. And I mainly use this when I'm just doing random work, work that I, don't, I really don't care about keeping. And this one is a little better than the Canson XL. But this is not the one I'm using right now. This is the B Company. Right now I'm using the... Um, the cancer. Okay, back to the work. So I'm wondering if I should do all the backgrounds first and then come back. No, I will just continue on with each section, I guess. That way I don't have to keep going back and forth with each 10. Well, you know what? Just so they, it could dry, I think it is best to do the background first. So, this one is praying. Since this one is sitting next at the top, I'll go next with the Arteza, which also includes a brush that I will not be using. So, As you can see, this tin only has four colors, so I will have to try to get the backgrounds as close to the same color as possible. Using the four colors that are in this kit. Okay, so sit that to the side for a minute. And prep this. Just a little tad bit more red to this.
lift this just a little so those areas are not too dark. picking up a little bit of the extra puddles that has formed. Okay, so moving on to the next section, I'm going to do be using the whole body. The whole binds are more of a dry cake form. So hopefully I can show up a little more to do these vlogs. I'm an overnight worker. Sometimes I have a pretty hectic schedule. So when I'm off, I can be a little selfish with the little time I do have off. And I don't know, just try to enjoy the time that I have and kind of go into myself so hopefully I'll be able to just come out of the shell more and start showing up a little more on my channel okay so these colors are different They take, sometimes they take a little more effort to actually wet them. But I really do want to see how they perform against the other paints. And what I'm going to have to do is wet this palette. Because these are not semi moist paints. They're extremely dry. Some paints I don't really you don't always have to wet them down, but I'm going to wet this whole palette down because I'm not sure which colors I'm gonna to want to use. So I'll read the for all of them to be just ready for me to pick up and go. Let me see how this blue looks. I think I'm gonna use this one.
Okay, I think I'll go with this. I'm trying to see, do I see any red here? I may add just a little bit red to it because I don't really see the red undertones in it. Okay, I think that's a little better. Let's see. And see this canceling paper, it dries kind of quick. It's not good with holding water. But it's it's good for um stuff like this for fun, for practice, and when I want to just sit down and paint and not use expensive supplies. This is perfect for that. And I do need to make a little more time for my painting because this is like the one time in my life where I can say I sit down and I can genuinely feel my heart breathing. It is like the most relaxing thing in the world for me. And then the rewarding effects afterward are just are even better okay so the backgrounds look as similar as they're going to look and To the crane. So next, just start painting the cherries. shadow tone here so I think I'm going to kind of do an underpainting with that
Good thing about this is I can keep rotating and letting one section dry as I work on each one. So this color is closest to this one that I already had mixed up. So I'll go ahead on and use it. I'll add just a tad of the blue to it. I had a few spots that I should have picked up when I laid this down, but it'll be okay. It's not a final art piece, it's just for fun. And for fellow artists out there that would like to see how all of these measure up to um to each other because we like watching stuff like this heavier shadow here and I think I'm going to go back and do the same thing with the praying on my darker dent shadow just a little
the prime again. I have to keep track of my time because if my video is too long, it won't let me edit and I will have to um, do it in more than one part. So I will go back with this shadow area here. The connecting one still a slightly damp but and with watercolor you have to do each section um separately I think I'm gonna wait before I fold the cherries on here again I'm going to start with some of the green once I get the um, the leaves painted in, I will probably turn the camera off for a while, get some of the work done, and then come back. That way I can edit and put the entire video together without it being too long and not allowing me to merge the, the entire video together. So I'm going to go with leaves so after I get all of the leaves painted in the first steps of them I will turn the camera off and come back I don't worry too much about the colors that's there already. Because normally I'm still able to build the colors I'm going for. this green okay and I will build this one that yellow too bright that's not the yellow I want this one. Even though there are colors here already pre-made, I prefer to make my own colors because it looks way more natural. Okay, I'm going to get a little more work done on here and I'll be back.
Okay guys, I am back and with the magic of YouTube, I have managed to turn an extra hour of painting into about a three second pause. So I have reached a stopping point with with my praying and my whole bind. I won't go any further on these, but I left the rest of the Arteza for me to finish on camera so that you can see how I was able to accomplish these effects the effects that I reached on these I'll finish that up on here so here goes Okay guys, this study is officially done, though this one is still incomplete and I decided that since it is student grade watercolors, I'm going to keep it as an entire student grade study. I will not go with my own um, professional watercolors. I, the, when I come back, I will finish this one with Koi. I won't do that right now at the moment but I decided to uh, and I have to see where I put my brush for this it's somewhere around here let me see no it's not in there well it's somewhere within my things 
but I will come back and come back with the koi watercolors and leave this entire page as a student grade study but I'll give you an up close look of it right now this is the praying the Arteza and the Holbein so I hope you enjoyed this and I may be back on later on today in order to finish this one with the koi but if not I will definitely come back tomorrow and complete this study but until next time oh let's see I think I'm going to do the date before I end it I'm just going to do my initials. Can you believe it is the second already? I know they're just studies but I just initialed them anyway and until next time guys thank you so much for watching